Hey everybody, I'm Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. We are back at 343 Industries and I'm joined once again by Halo 4's lead multiplayer map designer, Tynan Pearson. Good to see you. Good seeing you. So uh, we're here to check out more Halo 4 multiplayer maps. Of course, if you followed IGN in the run up to Halo 4's release, we were here, we did, uh, we did these tours of all 10 multiplayer maps to get you primed for the game's release. So we're here to do it again with the Crimson Map Pack, which is coming out very, very soon. And you're already going to get this if you have either the Halo 4 map pass or you purchase the limited edition of Halo 4. Of course, it's available uh, for purchase separately as well for 800 Microsoft points for the, for the Crimson map pack. And uh, Kynan, after that absurdly long intro of mine, what map <laughs> are we looking at here? Uh, right now we're taking a look at Shatter. So uh, Shatter is one of our large scale, uh, it's a vehicle centric map, even though there's a lot of uh, infantry routes. It's also a very objective friendly map. Uh, you've got some really large bases on the uh, outer sides opposing, so it's a symmetrical layout. So you've got these bases, you have the center area that you can kind of do a cut through, mm. and then you also have the uh, other base on the opposing side, which is a mirrored version of that. So the base. Uh, but in addition, we have these little kind of outer, uh, smaller kind of hubs on the outer edge of the map. And, uh, gives you some, plenty of opportunities to have, you know, various locations to go to for King of the Hill, for uh, Dominion. This so. is reminding me, I have no basis for this whatsoever, but this is reminding me a teensy bit of Waterworks from Halo 2. Maybe it's just because it's sort of very large, very big team, <laughs> very cave-like. Uh, obviously there are no legitimate similarities here, but um, so you were just walking around in the Mantis. Uh, what other vehicles are, are hiding around this level? Um, so, in the Forge Palette, you have access to the full assortment of Halo vehicles, uh, but uh, generally we've got the Mantis, we've got the Ghost, and uh, I believe we still have Mongooses on here, but I'm not certain uh, if they show up in, in all of the default game types. But for sure, you've got Ghost and uh, Mantis kind of highlighting. Now this, this map is huge. We're, uh and you know we don't see the Wraith or the Scorpion much by by default in in the core multiplayer maps for Halo 4. Were those given consideration for for a level this size? Yeah, and in various game modes, those are definitely a possibility for coming in uh, in matchmaking. Uh, you can also set them up in in customs, of course. Um, but based on the the tuning of the map and kind of uh, looking at the strengths of the map and constant play testing, uh, we've whittled down to the Mantis and the Ghost as being some of the, the more fun vehicles and more strategic vehicles to use on this map. So let me ask you about the Mantis specifically. Obviously, uh, I know when I play, Ragnarok uh, gets voted through almost every time it comes up in matchmaking. And part of that is because it's a great, great level. Uh, but I think part of that too is definitely because it is the one map that has a Mantis in it by default. Of course, you can get one on Meltdown in Dominion, but by default, of course, the Mantis is there in Valhalla, so, or excuse me, in Ragnarok. So in this map, um, was, was it originally planned to have a, a Mantis in it, or have you, have you responded to its popularity in Ragnarok and decided to include it? Kind of, can you talk a little bit about, about the Mantis as it pertains to this level? Yeah, so um, the, the great thing about this level in regards to the Mantis is um, you, can, you can definitely hunker down and reinforce areas with it, um, but there's a lot of nooks and crannies for infantry to go in, so it does take a coordinated team to kind of keep the Mantis protected. Um, we know the Mantis is a lot of fun to use, and we wanted to definitely give players more opportunities to use that in multiplayer and in matchmaking. Um, so that, that played uh, a role in, in its appearance in this map. But also, I mean, it was, it was always intended to be here. Um, it's just whatever the opposing vehicles and whatever the, um, the kind of objective modes that are going to highlight its use uh, were key in what other vehicles we took out to make room for it. So uh, in, on Ragnarok, you've got Banshees and you've got Warthogs in addition to the Ghost to try and help a team bring down a Mantis. We don't have quite all of those luxuries here, so what are the best strategies for, uh, for, for controlling the enemy team uh, when, they, when they're trying to bring you down with the Mantis? 
Um, well, the great thing about it is, again, there's there's a ton of uh, infantry routes that are just kind of like bypasses. So if you you know take a mantis through this area, um, there's any number of ways that players can kind of engage this, from being around corners and little pockets, from you know multiple routes and pads, like you know coming from up here, uh, being able to focus fire from certain areas. So it's not as wide open as Ragnarok. Uh, which gives players more chances to take it on foot, you know, plasma pistoling it, the uh, uh, um, EMP it, or even just you know running up and, and jacking it. Right. Yeah, uh, that seems to be the most effective way I've found to bring it down is just try and get some somebody to distract him and then sneak around and, and jump up and, and grenade or melee him. But um, well, you are that is. It's almost as if that little passageway right there was custom fit. <laughs> it was designed that way. Uh, so talk a little bit about, um, this is a really pretty level. It's, it's tinted little halo green with <laughs> the lighting. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's that backdrop out there? What, what is going on here? So basically, we're on a, a crystal dense moon. Um, got you know a lot of jagged rock structures. Um, this is this is open to the sun, so that you've got you know the vibrant light coming in, pouring in from the background. Um, and then if we walk through to the other side, you know you have the kind of uh, darker tones uh, on this side for side differentiation. And you can see over here that we've got this stuff going on. We also have oh my. Now internally, do you guys jokingly refer to this as Krypton? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually the first time I've heard that. But yeah, good uh, times. <laughs> so, uh, what what are your preferred? Uh, you mentioned Dominion uh, as, a, as an obvious one. Just all the is this really aimed at, at all the big team objective game types? Yeah, like you know, CTF's going to work out great. Um, King of the Hill is is really fun here um, as well, um, which is nice. Um, extraction, pretty much any of the, the objective modes work out uh, pretty well on this map. You know, we've had a lot of fun experiences, especially with the Now it looks like you probably don't even want to jump in here unless you've got at least, what, maybe 10 players total in your party? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it probably, you know, you could play it 4v4, but there's a lot of range to cover. Uh, you'll definitely want to play this, you know, 6v6 and up. How about armor ability wise? What's what's going to come in handy here? Um, you know that the shield works out really well in this map just because of you know all of the the various angles that you have on people and, and a lot of the, the cover. Um, Thruster pack will get you out of bad situations. Uh, regen field is actually pretty effective. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can do and a lot of strategies you can employ that are. Slightly different on this map than you would see in, in the others. Well, another that is this, this is another uh, big team objective friendly map in the Crimson Map Pack, which is out very very soon for Halo 4. For uh, for all of the details on the Crimson Map Pack and of course Halo 4, you're in the right place. IGN, thanks, Kynan. Thank you.